I can't help thinking that the City of London would look better without the walkie-talkie building. Black Pride Bridge, I think, is the most interesting part of the journey. Just holding on with my left hand. The next pier is Bankside. Disembark here for Tate Modern, Shakespeare's Globe, and St. Paul's Cathedral. When leaving, please ensure you take all They've got the these old the pillars. They used to be three in each step, but now one of them is absorbed in that stone pillar there. And that stone pillar, the 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 that stone pillar with obvious stretcher bond was built because the builders, they wanted to do something that enclosed the pillars. They weren't skilled enough to create these, but I actually like how it looks different. It, it sort of shows that it's different, it's not the same. It's good. Coffee here is 30p more expensive, 25p more expensive than on land. This is about a high speed. It's a nice speed. I've already used up over half my camera's memory. Now we're approaching Canary Wharf. I want to exit the front because I think we're going to exit the back. Accelerating. And now I'm at Canary Wharf getting off the boat. Let's see if they do it reasonably quickly. This is our first lift, which is an Otis Gen 2. I want to go... I want to go down. This is the down call button wasn't working. Otis 2000. There's an ALS lift in here. Here it is. This lift was made by Associated Lift Services. New weapons. Door closing. Test to see if it works. It does. This is an Associated Lift Service lift. This is the Sirica Custom Style of Dewhurst that ALS used to use. Um, uh, well, they put. They used, to, uh, initially they used, um, in the cheap lifts they had Level switching components. Car parking. Nice announcement. They, they, in the cheap lifts they had switching components, they had their own buttons in their expensive lifts. But then later they switched so that all Door their lifts closing. used a, they, later they switched the button they used so that all of their lifts used, like it, of custom version of Dewhurst. This has been modernised, but they kept a lot of I original features. I think there might be something on this level. This is an ALS lift. It's another associated lift service lift. I'm going to go to the ground. Oh, it isn't actually the ground floor. It's actually a basement. Level minus four. The button. The door, door close button works after a certain amount of time. Door closing. The call acknowledge chime plays whenever the lift changes floor. Zero. Access to Cabot Square. Doors open.
now to some confusing generics in the main shopping centre. Although these lifts look like a set of four, it's actually two set of twos. One of them serves levels ground to minus four, and the other one serves levels ground to two. Level minus four. That's Can't so work. fast. Doors opening. Lift going up. Doors closing. Actually, these lifts have different doors. There was an art box in there. Street level zero. We can feel the G. This lift goes up. Now into Zara. Going up. Please mind the door. I recognise this is an closed. advanced hydraulic lift. Going up. Designed is okay. No, I don't like this lift is inefficient. Although the design is okay. Floor one. In terms of the style, the design is okay, but very inefficient. That's now into the DLR which has some rubbish lifts but oh I noticed that there's lifts in here but what sort of lift is it? I want to go down that was a bit malfunctiony Level zero. This is a OK speed generic. Doors opening. This is the DLR station. But there's this train with locked doors. Through here there's a hidden lift. But what is it? On. Doors closing. Generic. Not bad though. Level 1, Retail Mall and Dockland Light Railway. Doors open. That sensor's there so it detects you when you're approaching the doors. That's clever. And through here is the closed DLR platform. This is the Canary Wharf Tower. It's very secure. It's got ticket barriers. I hate it when skyscrapers have ticket barriers. It's really annoying. This lift outside is branded as Canary Wharf Management because that's actually the lift's owner. 
This Door is the floor closing. plan of the lift in Canary Wharf. That's the lift's owner and it's got a fake Otis indicator. These look like Otis it's, lift it's buttons. It's got an MRL motor. You know, it sounds loud just at the top. Level minus one. But it runs more like a hydraulic even though it's an MRL. Hey, is that a lift shaft? Looks like a shinza. I think it is a Schindler I remember. I think this is a bottom this is a bottom drive traction Schindler MRL. It is going down. Door closing. As he makes the sound it goes. And I've got this Schindler vandal resistant thing. Floor minus one door opening. Welcome to the Isle of Crossrail. That's the lift shaft, and I could see some lift door shaped maintenance holding for it. Ooh, maintenance. Top floor. Tropical garden. Lift. And what I remember, I think, is this the eco disc. Although these pictures are Dewhurst. No service to the ticket hall. But it's got a special button for the ticket hall which doesn't work. Go to minus three. Staff only locked. L C D. This is the toilet level. It's gonna go. This is weird. This goes to the locked off staff only floor. I haven't found any staff only signs. This lift didn't say staff only. This floor is staff only. I'm going to go back up. I found a hidden route to the staff only floor with no staff only signs. The main route has a staff only sign, but this route does. It's unbelievable how hot this room is. Like 30 degrees in here. And I'm in this lift. Which is another generic MRL. This building's not finished, so it's a bit confusing. This is the unfinished crossrail station. It is so deserted. Well, the escalators are turned off. They're big escalators. Wow. Wow. This is so crazy. This is technically a building site, but the builders will have the day off today because it's Saturday. It's absolutely crazy. I'm on the other side of a no entry sign. Now it's the other generic MRLs. Well, it won't accept my call! Ugh. These escalators haven't been switched on. This is a bit risky because these escalators, I'm not sure if they're even 
completely ready yet. Um, I'm looking for the way out. Well, I think I might have to call. Will these lifts accept my call? No! Just by luck, someone actually accidentally pushed the button for minus three in the lift. So, someone accidentally pushed the button for minus three when they went a different floor, so the lift went down. Wow! I got trapped in the crossrail station that's not even finished. Just going down to minus three in the lift, I got trapped in the unfinished crossrail station. Wait, phase. These lifts have Dewhurst fixtures. I've heard that they're eco discs, but I'm not really sure. Yes, they are eco discs, and that they've got the John Lewis fitting that tradition. And they'd, be, they'd have lights behind these that would show, that would light up when the lift was at that floor, but this lift doesn't have them. Does pushing the button cancel your call in this lift? Oh, we're moving. This looks like a Mitsubishi dot matrix. Get down. Is it? Oh. Mitsubishi! Waitrose and street level going up. Mitsubishi. I don't know what's doing, Tyson. This lift is a Mitsubishi. <laughs> What's up with this escalator arrangement? Anyway, I've got like two buttons here. One of them is just to indicate what floor you're at, so they might as well just have an engraving or a normal sign or a button. This is efficient that the doors were a bit confusing for you to close which I guess it's a track few points for efficiency. Schindler. This is very efficient. Departed quicker than the last one. This tunnel is weird. I've come here before. It was a long time ago. In this tunnel. So. This is 
the beautiful bridge. And now to an Otis Gen 2, going down to the tube station. Dewhurst. This is a Gen 2. A Dewhurst. Minus two. Ticket hall. Doors opening. Door. That is the Foster Rito entrance, which is an entrance which is not used much. This is a this and crack lift, I can see the this and crack logo. The next there's a lift containing the rudest, most idiotic man alive. Because people keep going in this lift who when they're going, who keep going the wrong direction in the lift, and then the lift go the wrong direction. This is the lift with all the idiots on the floor below. exactly a good lift but it's a lift which is pleasant to travel in. This weird actually was a knock down. Buses, so he thought he might as well make money from that. This rail replacement is Sullivan Buses. So it 
this in the world. That banging was someone trying to decide whether he wanted the window open or closed. Um, and it's an old bus. And this bus runs really nice and fast. It's a really nice motor noise. Even though this is a rail replacement, Sullivan buses have actually managed to get the iBus system to work. And when it departed first up it said, Dear La to all saints. Then my camera ran out of memory.